This is Dr. Nalini Taneja from Aham I Am Enough Training Group. I hope you really enjoyed the Festival of Lights to its fullest and it brought tremendous joy and happiness into your lives. This festival is all about celebrating. And in doing so, I decided this week we will talk about a celebration of your life and we'll talk about how to follow your dreams. A dream. What is a dream? A dream is something, as Abdul Kalam said, that keeps us awake at night. The question is, how do we follow our dreams? I'll tell you a little story. This happened in the year 1992. I had just lost both my parents. And one fine day I realized there was not enough money in the house to cook the next meal. So what I did was, I gathered all the old newspapers and collected them and sold it to the newspaper vendor. I remember getting some petty change for it, which was enough to buy vegetables for the next meal. Why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you the story is that don't be defined by the circumstances that you find yourself in today. Even at that given point of time in my life, I believed my life was not going to be like that. My life was going to be about what I create for myself. Though it was very challenging, it was very tough, but I continued to work on my dreams. The question is, whatever is the dream that you have for yourself, don't let go. Dare to follow it. There will be tough times. There will be challenging times. You will have to face so many setbacks as you follow your dreams. But then, there are no free lunches in life. Everything has a price and our dreams also have a price. Many a times I'm asked this question, how come I achieved all that I set out to achieve in my life? Well, it comes from a place called hard work and lots and lots and lots of it. Are you willing to work hard for your dreams? Are you willing to follow and lead an extraordinary life? Because extraordinary life means extraordinary sacrifices. But one thing I must tell you, that whatever you set out to achieve or whatever you dream, you have the power to create that reality. For me, it was not easy. I had to go back to school at 36 years of age and do a master's in international cooperation despite the fact that I had a doctorate, a PhD in human values. I had to do it because I wanted to fulfill my dream of working with the United Nations. The question is, there will be sacrifices that will have to be made. You have to make a choice. Are your dreams worth making those sacrifices? So here it is for your dreams. I would request you to write down in clear words what is it that you dream of and follow it through to your dreams till we talk next time. Take care.